all right traders welcome back here in the next few minutes i want to show you how to select the right trend for you because you see this is a market that has different people different perspective people trading in different time frames and you staying within your own boundary or within your own time frame to be able to take advantage of the market is the most important thing that will happen to you and this is where the confusion of many people come all right so let me help you and show you how to select the right trend because once you are able to identify the right trend for you you would be able to take good trades because what you're seeing on your time frame may be different from what another person is seeing in another time frame all right so let's get into it right here this is euro usd and i just want you to take notice of how i'm going to do this so that you will learn to do it next time when you come to your chart so come to look at this this is an entire price action all right remember that every time price is going towards a particular direction it has something in mind and it is simply trying to reach a particular area we mostly call it point of interest institutional reference point a different things all right now on the daily time frame which is one of the time frame most of you use for getting your bias on the daily time frame now the question comes in very handy look at what price did you see price had this movement if our price moved up to this area shifting structure you know coming down now the most recent price action is now here boom what is that a break of structure to the downside as simple as that now looking at what happened here when price broke structure here you knew that price was targeting liquidity here down here because that is basically where price is going to now after price is done with the liquidity here what next do you think price is going to do you're all going to see it on the left hand side of your chart so any serious point of interest is where price is going to as price broke structure to the downside sweeping liquidity external liquidity it is now trying to reach where a point of interest now look very closely what do you have here all right price traded into this buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency in other words a fair value gap look at what happened from here down here what were you supposed to do as someone that is looking at this price action you knew that you are in a downtrend is that true perfectly what do you do in a downtrend there is a popular say in the market the trend is your friend you keep looking for an opportunity to go bearish 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 but now that price has reached the point of interest there is something that you need to watch out for you need to be careful because obviously price is not interested in going further down there is nothing except this area where you see the draw on liquidity here but do you think price is more interested in here or retracing mind you that every time price is moving with this kind of candlestick it is simply telling you that the smart money are bleeding they are leaving money and that is why this is called an imbalance liquidity void all right it is called an imbalance it has so many fair value gaps imbalance basically sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency there are no enough buyers to balance this movement and price will always come back and fill up this guy all right so the target is to reach a point filling it up reaching the target and now come back to do the right thing balancing the imbalance price does two things liquidity balancing imbalances so as somebody trading euro usd what were you doing for the last four days or maybe five days sell 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 bearish if you go to the lower time frame that is the same thing you will see what was your trend you were bearish so don't get confused you were bearish right here the shifting market structure came in right at that point 
Now, some of you get confused when it comes to delineating your market structure. I want you to do your market structure for each time frame differently because you're going to see them differently. So don't worry if what you're seeing on the daily time frame is not what you're seeing. And that is why it's important. And price respects it according to its time frame. All right. Don't worry. Each time frame has its own structural marking differently. So the shifting structure started here, price pushing down. So what were you doing? You were a seller. You were bearish. You were bearish. Now, other people that are looking at this, maybe in the higher time frame, weekly, monthly, maybe seeing this entire trend as a bullish market, maybe as a bullish market. Because if you look at it from this perspective, price has done so much bullish movement right here. This is a range. But you, from your own time frame, you should respect what you're seeing. I hope you're getting this. Now that price has reached where it is going to, what else do you look for? You look for an opportunity to take advantage of what price will do, balancing this imbalance. Remember, price will always balance imbalance. So if you want to catch this movement, you want to understand when the trend will start. That means we are expecting an uptrend in the lower time frame which is simply balancing this movement, we have a fair value gap here. The reason why we call it imbalance is because we expect price to balance it. And that simply means price coming back into it. It is as simple as that, guys. It is nothing but as simple as that. So now dropping down to the lower time frame, what do we see? We knew that price have traded into this point of interest on the daily now we are expecting price to balance it is not interested in going further down so what you should look for is anticipation and if you want to bring the concept of gauging momentum look at the energy there can you see this first push after this shift in market structure right here boom market structure shift happening right there and then price let's assume this is somebody and somebody let's say an athlete taking his first run from here to here all right that was his first target or that was his first record look at how far this guy has run from here to here and then he rested here for a while and took another movement again from where from here Let's say from this guy to here. All right. Let me keep it very clean. So can you compare the first attempt and the second attempt? Can you see that energy is dying? And that is what we call a momentum. Energy is dying. Look at the last attempt this guy did. Look at it. Boom. Can you say that the guy is now completely tired he has exhausted all his energy so why did we see that it is simply because it has cleared all the liquidity it wanted to reach and it has traded into institutional reference point a fair value gap on the higher time frame so now you are preparing to balance these guys to give him more energy to go back to the starting point again after balance what comes in is energy energy again so this is how price behaves. After every balance, what comes is energy. But how do I take advantage of this balance that will come? Because I will need to balance this void and then this guy. These are the two things I will need to balance. So what I will do is to use the instrument of the lower time frame to catch this balance that is going to come in. So this bullish movement that will come is simply a balance it doesn't mean that price is no longer interested in going down it is balance that is coming and i want to take advantage of that balance remember i told you every time price move up like this balance comes in move up like that balance comes in so this is the same thing move down like this balance comes in so i will now take advantage of that in the lower time frame for those of you who are swing trading, 
what time frame do you look for or if you are looking at it from the four hour time frame where is your area you see price came you have uh, let me now now delineate it you have lower high lower high lower high the most recent and then this one lower high so where is your benchmark now the benchmark is basically where price has created the last lower high if that bullish movement is going to start i need to clear this guy and now we need to bring in the concept of market structure all right so if i want to go bullish i need to be patient for price to now take out this guy close above it come back and then i will take the movement to balance this movement and that is your trend as you're waiting for this what trend are you going to wait for a bullish trend so you that is looking at it from lower time frame what are you doing you are bullish somebody that is not interested in the lower time frame he is bearish he will wait because we don't want to chase trade we don't want to chase it from here we don't want to chase anything happening we want to be part of the movement but then it has gone already deleting everything here it has gone we are not interested in it we want to wait for price to give us opportunity to take the sell but then it is already uh it has already gone far all right it has already gone far so somebody waiting for it those who have big money will wait for it to come back here and they take the sell while we that want to trade intraday we are bullish all right we want to go bullish so from the lower time frame are you now bullish if you go to the one hour or maybe you go to the four hour time frame are you now bullish the question is are you now bullish look at where i put my delineation i am not yet bullish all right so what is your trend now you don't have a trend you are at a point of decision you don't have a trend so this is where most of you get it wrong you just want to enter the trend without defining your trend you don't have a trend here all right so you wait patiently this entire movement is full of confusion all right so carefully wait for that you will find that shifting structure coming in massively you will not find difficulty in identifying it when it comes in so immediately if price takes out this that becomes your movement i hope this is understandable so that becomes your movement so you can bring in all your strategies your fibonacci your trend line anything you want to do uh, you see where there is trouble you will see the price action with struggles any price action that have trouble you will see struggle on the candlesticks you see all these whipsaws you know indecision candles different candles you know fighting between the buyers and sellers so why would you trade it simply means if you're trading this pa hold on break up of the structure or shift structure and you will see a clear trend do you struggle with something like this break of structure downward you don't struggle with this this is a clear downtrend you don't struggle with this and so also you will not struggle when price shows you interest all right you will see boom and it will come back you will now start taking your buy why are you taking buy because you are now bullish on the lower time frame while the daily time frame traders are waiting for price to balance the movement and i hope this video helps thank you guys for watching see you next time